Hey everyone and welcome back to Salem. In this episode we're going to be going over some gardening. Now the reason you want to start gardening is mainly to have some things to cook, some recipes to cook, because a lot of food recipes call on different plants, uh, vegetables, things of that sort. And another reason is because a lot of things such as cures for diseases, uh, inspirationals, and other items can also be used uh, from gardening. So gardening is a very essential skill in my opinion. Now, the skills you're going to need to garden, there's a few, there's about six I believe. The first one you're going to need is of course the gardening skill, which just allows you to unlock the other skills following it, it doesn't really let you do much. So you will need also floriculture, which allows you to plant flowers, fungiculture, which allows you to plant mushrooms, uh, you will need kiln construction, which, let, which lets you make the clay baking kilns, uh, which we'll be getting some clay here for that in a minute. You will need pottery to make the pots to grow your uh, to grow your different plants. You will need quarrying to get lime, which is uh, which is used in the recipe of um, of the pots. And you will also need, I believe, one more skill. Unless I am wrong. Actually, oh uh, yeah, you will need agriculture as well. There we go. You're going to need agriculture. So those are the skills you will need to start gardening for yourself and. Instead of having to go look for everything all over the place, you'll actually be able to make it yourself right at home, which is a lot a lot uh, more efficient in my opinion. So to start off, we're going to need to get 30 clay. So I'm going to skip this part of the video just to not bore you, but you'll have to find a clay pit which looks like this. Get 30 pieces of clay. You can store the clay if you can't hold it all. And you will be building a kiln, and I will show you that in a minute. Alright, so I've just finished my kiln, but before I go on, I do want to mention that there's a very in easy inspirational to make to raise your herbs and sprouts skill in order to unlock all these other skills that I told you about before. Um, so what you have to do is you have to go to a uh, pine tree and pick a pine cone, which you can see I have in my inventory. Uh, they look like the, the the coniferous trees back there. So that's all you have to do. You have to go to, uh, go to one of them and pick up a pine cone. Now all you have to do is have a fire going, which I've already had because I was using these before. And you will pick up the pine cone from your inventory and right click the fire and in about two seconds it makes you a flaming pine cone. As you can see it gives uh, 600 herbs and sprouts which is very helpful. It also gives cloak and dagger which is one of the more difficult uh, inspirationals to get. So I do recommend using these often as they are probably one of the easiest inspirationals I've ever seen to get some of the early game uh, essential skills. So aside from that the next thing you're going to want to do is make some pots and the way you do that is you will need to go to your crafting menu you have to go to your tools and your pots and pans and you will see there's a gardening pot the difference between this crafting recipe is that it is not just a craft and place recipe but you will actually need to craft it and it will make an unburnt gardening pot and when you finish you will need to actually open up the kiln and place the kiln or place the item in the kiln so I'm going to collect the materials. As you can see, there's eight clay, one lime, and one granite. And I'm going to make about three of these. So I will get back to you when I have done that. But before I do, I want to show you how to get the lime. So I told you before I got the quarrying skill. And I already have one of the boulders pulled up from, from before. I guess someone else must have pulled it a while back. But I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy. You just open up your dig, uh, dig bar, and you will click on the lime and it's pretty much that easy it just it pulls the lime out of the earth for you and it'll usually probably be a small boulder this early on because our mines and mountain skill is pretty low but nevertheless oh that's actually a really big boulder for my level I guess I got lucky on that one but all you have to do is pull it out and then you just mine it like any other stone oh let me get my pickaxe out or sorry my yeah uh, my regular axe and uh, you just pick it out of the ground. It's really easy. And that's why the quarrying skill is so essential. It's very easy to get lime once you have that skill. So I will end this part of the video now and I will skip to when I have made three of these unburnt gardening pots. All right, so I've arrived back at my homestead. I have my three unburnt gardening pots and I'm going to show you how to make them into the full gardening pots. So what you will do is you will go to the kiln and you will shift click or drop drop and uh, drag and drop into the 
kill him. I'm going to shift click, it's a lot easier. Now you can see they're right in there. I have 16 fuel, I've placed some branches, so I'm going to get a little bit more. And it works pretty much the same as a fire, just takes a lot more fuel. So I'm going to take, I'll say maybe six more. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. These broken bows give a larger percentage than the regular sticks. They're, it's pretty much like a variable uh, difference. I think it's maybe like 100% or 200% more. Let's see, 16. And that gave, yeah, they gave 12 versus uh, versus 2. So yeah, it gives 600% 600 actually. A lot more than the regular branches would. So we have enough now. And I have made tinder drills, so I will light the kiln. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And we will just have to wait a bit for these to burn, and I will show you what we will do next. So, as you can see, a, a nice green color comes out. Every time you light these, a different color comes out. It's pretty cool. Now, these take a while. I'm not sure how long they take. Um, so, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is show you what else you will need before you start gardening. I've made this compost, I made it about a week ago, and what it does is you will put different uh, organic things inside, pretty much just like a regular compost in real life would be, you would put anything that's uh, biodegradable. Uh, so I've, I think I put some oak duff in there, and as you can see, I have had a lot of hummus grow in. So what you will do is you're going to withdraw some hummus whenever you have it ready. I think one grows every two hours, one comes in every two hours. So all you have to do is put these in the gardening pots and that is your fertilizer. So we're not going to use that yet of course because the gardening pots are not ready. What I am going to do however is I have made a bucket and I will need some water. So I'm going to go to the, uh, the lake over here and fill up my bucket with some water for gardening. All you need is a bucket, there's no watering can or anything, just any sort of water pretty much. So I will get over to that lake and fill this bucket up. Alright, so hopefully by the time I get back my gardening pots will be finished burning. So what you have to do to fill your bucket is take the bucket and right click on the water. Make sure you do not left click or else you will actually drop the item in the water and it will disappear. Anything dropped in water disappears. So be very careful when you do that. Uh, so I have my bucket of 10 liters of water, very heavy, so make sure you don't have too much in your inventory when you do this. Or if you have a backpack, you can reduce the weight by putting in a backpack. I do not yet, so I will just have to carry it back. And when I get back, hopefully, like I said, the gardening pots should be finished and we can start some gardening. I have, I have put together um, a small group of items that I want to grow. I, I got two wild garlics. And I also got a, where is it, oh yeah, I got the sunny sunflower. So I have three things I want to grow, two of them are the same. The wild garlics are very useful because they can either spawn more wild garlic or they will make a uh, regular garlic, which is also used in food recipes. Both of the items are used in food recipes. They're very useful for early on recipes as they are used in the simple cooking skill recipes, I believe, especially with rabbits and whatnot. So good thing to grow. These are also very good to grow because they are, as you can see, a great inspirational for a lot of things from sugar to spice, sugar and spice to stocks and cultivars and even herbs and sprouts. Very useful. So let's see here. These are not done yet so I will skip the video a little bit to show you what to do when you finish these. Okay so the kiln has finished with the, with the gardening pots uh, so what you have to do is you have to open up the kiln again and left click the gardening pot to pick it up and you will pretty much just place it on the ground and uh, I will show you how to fill them with the hummus uh, which I have gotten in my inventory oh, sorry misplaced that okay so I have three gardening pots and I will I have my hummus already so I will pick up the hummus I'm going to hold shift and I will right click on the gardening pot and what that does is that lets me have the item in my hand so I don't have to keep picking it up very useful, easy to use little trick. And then I will pick the bucket up and right click the the hummus the hummus filled gardening pots. And as you can see now they are ready to ready to have some plants. So I will place my wild garlic in the first two. And if you see the plus zero, that just means that I am not getting any extra yield. And when you ever you plant a 
whenever you plant anything in a gardening pot, you automatically are given a two yield. And if I right click on it, you will see I have two. And what that means is for every one I grow, I get two back, meaning I get an extra one to either use or, or grow uh, more. And the multiplier, which is basically like the more yield you will get, is based on your uh, herbs and sprout skill. So it's very good to invest in your herbs and sprout skill. I believe it is every uh, every 50 points after 100 gives you an extra plus one. So at 100, I believe you get plus one. 150, I believe you get plus two, etc., etc. So, and this isn't a guarantee. It's just a RNG random random roll to get a extra yield at your cap, which will be up to whatever your uh, I guess whatever your herbs and sprout skill is. So. Very useful to invest in herbs and sprouts over time, and that's just one of the many skills that you can benefit from investing in. So I will put my sunny sunflower in, and that's pretty much all there is to this. Very easy to grow your own things once you have the gardening pots. And now I will just have to wait, I believe it is two days for these, and if I was growing mushrooms it would be about 30 hours or so. So I, that's pretty much all I have to show for this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.